Lately, a lot of people have been blogging about switching to text-based systems like Emacs and Vim for their Rails development because they feel like they get better productivity. And largely, it seems like it's a fingers on the keyboard versus stopping your flow, having to grab the mouse um, as the reason why. And I, I get that. That makes sense to me. On the other hand, it, somehow it bugs me to kind of throw away the GUI environment and windowing to just do everything in a big text text window. So I was trying to figure out if there was a way to get the same advantage, but stick with things like TextMate and, you know, running in more of a, a windowed GUI looking environment. So anyway, I think the answer is yes. And part of it is a a tool called GoToFile, which is a TextMate bundle, but also um, iTerm and Chrome play a role. Anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, so here I've got TextMate up with the um, the Redmine project. Let's say I want to do some work on the groups. So, you know, standard TextMate, um, you know, Command T to go to file, and I say group.rb. Easy enough to type. Unique name. Okay, great. You know, here's the file. Um, now, you should be able to jump right from this to the controller, but um, using the TextMate bundle, but there, I just have weird problems. And sometimes it just seems to work, sometimes it doesn't, like right now. Um, shift, Option, Command, Down, doesn't pop up the, the select. So anyway, so a lot of times I end up just, okay, let me type, bring up the controller, group con. Okay, great, I can find it. Again, pretty unique name. Move around here. Um, and again, you know, so from here, you, you can jump directly to the view if you want. Um, again, that was the shift alt uh, command and then um, you pick view. But the problem is that if you've got multiple views, like say you've got one for HTML and maybe one for mobile um, or JavaScript, that starts to break down. So you usually end up trying to, you know, pull up the index. Okay, and that's where the, the built-in tools stop working because now you've got this big long list you got to scroll through and, and find the right index file and it's kind of a pain. Go to file makes this a lot easier. Um, Shift Command K brings up go to file. And the, the nice thing about go to file is it considers the path as well as just the file name. So I can type GRO index and boom, you know, I've narrowed it down. I don't have to look at anything else. And great, now I've got the, the HTML file up I can work on. Um, the you know, what just happened there was the, the fork, which was just to make the fuzzy finder window go away when you pick a file. Um, by def the, or the original version, by default, it stays up. Um, but it, it does support both as well, where, you know, if you, um, if you wanted to pull up multiple ones, then you just hold down the control key and, um, you know, and then the, the window stays there and you can do that. But anyway, so, so you've, you know, you've got between the TextMate uh, command T and the, the go to file bundle, you've got a really fast, quick way to get to, um, you know, whatever files you want. Then, um, you know, the other thing over with TextMate, sorry, with iTerm, and one of the reasons I like it better than Terminal is, um, number one, you can name the tabs. So it's really easy to see what uh, a tab that you're working on, you know, is used for. And two, you can jump around them immediately with um, the command key. So command one is the first tab, two is the second tab, three is the third tab. And that's the same as in TextMate. So command one is the first, second. Command three is the third. So it's pretty easy to teach your fingers that just to jump to whatever tab you want, you don't need to reach for the mouse. You can just move around like that. And then again, um, with Chrome, you have the same thing going on where you can have multiple tabs and you can get directly to them with command keys. So typically for me, I would keep the local copy I'm working on in the first tab, maybe the live production version in two, some Rails documentation in three, and then just another tab for anything else I'm looking at in, in four. So anyway, um, again, the combination of the go to file bundle, iTerm, and Chrome gives you three tools that all use the same convention for command and a number to get to a tab. Um, and you can, you know, immediately get to whatever file you want with go to file. So anyway, hope that gives people an option that keeps your fingers on the keyboard as well as lets you stay in a windowing system.